नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आर वी इन अ डेमोक्रेसी दैट इज बीइंग वेयर द ऑपोजिशन इज बीइंग जेल्ड सो डेजा वू द इमरजेंसी और इज इट ड्यू प्रोसेस ऑफ लॉ बीइंग फॉलोड कमेंट्स बीइंग मेड बाय द यूएस एंबेसी देयर इज अ स्लू ऑफ लॉयर्स हु आर राइटिंग टू द जुडिशियरी वर्ड अबाउट द बुलडोजिंग ऑफ द कोर्ट्स एंड द ब्राउ बीटिंग ऑफ द कोर्ट्स दैट इज हैपनिंग नाउ हु इज डूइंग द ब्राउ बीटिंग दैट आर्गुमेंट इज आउट but uh, here we are on a very special broadcast to get the perspective right on the one hand there is a constituency that believe that over the last 10 years the promise of cracking down on corruption the government of the day has been very very slow in acting on it counter to that there is a there is a group or there is a there is a counter point of view which says just on the cusp of lok sabha elections 2024 a slew of arrests are happening and largely with leaders of the opposition so is it to try and corner and totally weaken the opposition ahead of the elections or is it that because there was a strong sentiment on ground that the government of the day and the agencies taking their time following the due process have come to a time where they have to do these arrests senior political commentators authors journalists they are the ones who are joining us in this conversation dr anand rangarathan abhijit ayer mitra rashid kidwai and sanjeev shivastava namaste jai hind gentlemen <coughs> Let's have a good conversation, Rashid Kidwai. Let me start with you. Now, a veteran journalist, and you've seen decades of politics across, uh, you know, the political spectrum. What do you think about this? See, civilized nations, democratic nations, uh, do comment on each other's affairs. It is not that it is taken as a sort of interference or some kind of uh, uh, you know, uh, di- diplomatic indiscretion. For instance, uh, we were concerned as a nation. We were concerned when in America there was uh, some kind of uh, uh allegation and violence took place uh, when donald trump was uh, uh, was not elected in that time of situation i remember even prime minister had tweeted about the situation in america we have a whole history of uh, you know commenting on uh, on world affairs whether it was africa or uh, 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 very uh, countries in asia etc so there is a whole thing i am not uh, disturbed or offended or concerned about that element the a uh, drive against corruption is always welcoming i always maintain indian political system is deeply you know corrupt because you look at that you know amount of money we spend on election and nirmala ji is nirmala sidharaman's recent uh, comment that she didn't have enough money coming from finance minister i find it it's very uh, refreshing and of course it's at the same time quite alarming also that you know here is a political system where finance minister of the country who's a very upright and honest person cannot afford to fight an expensive election this is a root cause of liquor gate this is a root cause of electoral bond a lot of wrong doings that is happening uh, our political class collectively is not being addressed to that so we are just accusing one another third thing comes about agencies as long as there is uh, consistency in action against uh, culprits it is very welcoming there should not be any what about three what about three about that uh, why this person is happening why that is happening but the rule of law should be seen as you know applying to all thank you anand hmm. so you're saying the rule of law should be seen as being applied to all so without saying much he said a lot of things abhijit ayer mitra Bharat has also commented on what's happening in the US. Have we openly named Trump and Biden? Have we openly gotten meddled into the Jew, uh, legal process? What is happening in that nation? Do we ever comment, or do we only look at geopolitical scenarios or measures that are disturbing for democracy? So, Anand, we never do. Uh, we've been telling the government to start doing it for a very, very long time. The government doesn't listen because they fundamentally believe that countries shouldn't be commenting on what happens in other countries unless it involves their own citizens. I believe this is a very old-fashioned approach. Uh, you do need to build narratives, but those narratives are being built. If you remember, there was this Al Jazeera hate job on my old employer ORF, which is coming up with an Indian Democracy Index and Freedom of Speech Index and all of that. So they are building the grounds to start commenting. You see, what happens is because they control the data. they are able to go around giving uh, you know certificates of appreciation or certificates of participation or certificates of whatever good uh, good conduct or whatever uh, to other people we do not have the ability to collect that data we are slowly building the capacity to do it so i think in another 2 3 4 years you'll see us giving gratuitous comments on uh, you know other people's uh, on uh, jill biden's sartorial choices to uh, the uh, calculated attempt at election rigging demographic manipulation and 
uh, opposition intimidation that's happening in the United States. And also in Germany, let's not forget that. Uh, there, there is an active spying. The largest opposition party, the AFD, is actively being spied upon by the BND, the German uh, intelligence services. They don't even hide it. They openly announce it to newspapers. And you actually had a uh, Greek chap, a government official, come down to India the other day uh, who was openly talking about, you know, uh, completely clueless about illegal migration into uh, the EU and its consequences, talking about uh, how the far right is the greatest threat and how we all need to combat the European far right. They're actually inviting us to join the combat against the European far right. We should oblige, you know, except we yeah. should be fighting it against the left. Hmm. Where do you stand, Sanjeev Srivastava? So I find this all so amusing, Anand, because how does it matter as to the Americans have commented on Kejriwal, or as Germans have said, our foreign ministry has called their uh, for uh, embassy officials and given them a dressing down, and we have been fed about US officials got a 45 minute dressing down, German official was so shown the door back in five minutes. So these are games. At the end of the day, how does it? I frankly don't think that it really matters to a lot of Indians what the US has said. On the other hand, I also find it so amusing because when we can go ahead, our prime minister can say, "Abki baar Trump sarkar." We can host Trump and you know literally be seen as campaigning for Trump's candidature for presidency, and then we have this. <laughs> innocence or cheek or this upfront to say why is somebody interfering. We have interfered or kind of given our opinion on the biggest exercise of all, that is the elections. So whether Kejriwal is guilty or he is innocent is something you and I really don't know. That is for the courts to decide. But what one finds very odd is that on the cusp of elections, after model code of conduct has been announced, when leaders are supposed to be campaigning, you have these actions. Well, this is the new, new, new Bharat. Let's put it like that. Just want to say that Prime Minister Narendra Modi never said "Abki baar Trump sarkar." Prime Minister Narendra Modi in that speech very clearly said that when you campaigned the last time around, he, Trump was seeking the election. So when your campaign slogan in the Indian diaspora in US had been "Abki baar Trump sarkar," he okay. never came out you, and you, said that I am pitching for another you, another, another thing. So the Prime be, Minister, you may be uh, absolutely no, I'm just saying, right. I'm you just saying that the Prime right. Minister's actions that. have been mis no, no. Prime Minister's actions have been misquoted. The other aspect is I don't see anywhere Bharat openly naming Xi Jinping, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, or any other nation's leader and commenting on their internal jurisdiction, you know, legal progress, progress or the judicial processes. So have the Bharat US and done. have the US and Germans named but, Prime Minister Modi. There, there, there has been about the current government and what's I, happening in the current government and various where 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 has Bharat ever said that whatever is happening in the US is deeply concerning about the collapse of the entire system there and the open targeting of the opposition and the brazen target? Bharat has never said all of that. US has repeatedly made these comments. Yes, they do use it as a diplomatic tool, which Abhijit Ayer Mitra said that we should also reciprocate in the same manner. We, on a concentrated position, choose not to do it unless absolutely necessary as it came with Canada and Khalistan, etc. Yes, Dr. Ranganathan. Uh, hi, Anand, and uh, a big hello to my fellow panelists. Uh, I want to uh, first state that, of course, I agree with what Abhijit has said. We don't go far enough. I mean, just to give you one example, you know, China, along with the rest of the world and all those people, they accuse us of being anti-minority, anti-Muslim all the time. Has India ever quoted the fact that right now one and a half million Muslims are interned in Chinese concentration camps, are, are being forced, uh, sterilized and being fed pork. Has India said this? India should say this. So I am with Abhijit on this. But now let me come to the whole thrust of the topic because that is what is important. And Sanjeev has said, and I am quoting him, he said, Jo mm. emergency mein ho raha tha, wo bhi abhi ho raha. So please, can I just speak mm. facts out here for the next couple of minutes? Because this is the fact. At every step of the way, Anand, in the excise liquor scam, I'm going to take just that example because that is the pertinent one. In yeah. every step of the way, in this excise liquor scam case, including the investigation and prosecution by the agencies, the judiciary is involved and is expressly overseeing the entire case. So to say whatever was happening in the emergency is happening right now. In fact, the misinformation, 
फेक नेरेटिव एंड डेलिबरेट मर्डिंग ऑफ वॉटर इज बिंग डन बाय द केजरीवाल साइड लेट मी एक्सप्लेन मिनिस्टर आतिशी येस्टरडे क्लेम that the high court in its order has raised serious questions about the political motive behind the arrest and its illegality this is deliberate misinformation and could be held as contempt of court because let me now quote from the high court order itself quote the petitioner has also raised serious and critical questions before the court and stated that this court being a constitutional court must apply its mind to the motive behind the arrest which is patently illegal and has a direct bearing on the democratic process of impending elections in the country the present petition raises several issues of legality and validity regarding the arrest and remain remand of the petitioner additionally it questions whether the arrest may be politically motivated and malafide unquote clearly the high court is quoting kejriwal's petition and is not making a statement of its own accord so please this needed to be said number 2 supreme court has it not said anand that bail is a rule and jail is an exception why then i ask if we are staying in an emergency has bail been denied to the aap ministers implicated in the liquor scam in fact let me now quote from the supreme court order because i am here to just give facts of 2 months ago court the excess the excess amount of 7% commission earned by the wholesale distributors of 338 crores constitute an offense as defined under section 7 of the poc act these are proceeds of crime this figure cannot be disputed or challenged the new excise policy was meant to give windfall gains to select few wholesale distributors who in turn had agreed to give kickbacks and bribes unquote three for all those who are saying that we are in emergency the ed is using draconian provisions let me inform them that each and every provision has been vetted by the supreme court three judge bench and not only ratified but also underlined and stamped for example reverse burden of proof is now to stay it is not mandatory to give ecir bail is to be made extremely stringent money laundering is now to be considered as heinous as terrorism attachment of property is to be allowed statements made to the ed are to be made admissible number 4 this is the <laughs> the coup de ta if i can say this once three ed summons are ignored by law by law the ed is to serve a non bailable warrant for the arrest of the person who has been ignoring the ed summons arvin kejriwal ignored nine summons anand is he someone special or is he an aam aadmi so the <clears throat> facts completely run contrary to the assertion that we are staying in an era of emergency that was for 50 years ago is arvin kejriwal innocent uh, rashid kidwa has he done nothing wrong has himan soren in is him himan soren innocent has he done nothing wrong was it wrong to for the ed to go to k kavita and arrest her in hyderabad how many summons had all of these people got and what have they said about the ed when they got the summons anand how is it that we are able to forget all that and broad brush it there is nothing to forget i think anand uh, all these matters are subjudice there is a trial going on the some of in some cases even fir has not been filed i think it is premature and uh, uh, somewhat inappropriate to comment and and quote uh, you know selectively from court documents or lawyers observations etc i would say this is a legal side let the legal course uh, you know take take its own course problem is political and as i said and none of my you know fellow panelists uh, attempted to answer that key question why assuming there was a liquor gate there was a scam why did it assuming that people who are were capital income was like 10 crore and they gave uh, you know five they bought uh, l12 bought what 500 crores you know why is all this thing happening it's because we have a very corrupt system for every sb election you know we stipulate that only 45 lakhs to be spent where people are spending 10 times more in lok sabha election we all know it's a open fact an open secret government of the day political class for so many decades nobody has tried to address this when did arvin kejriwal first get an ed summons sir it was in november said, 2023 said, no, 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 wha, 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 no no rashi no, ji no 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 it's no 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 you said, said this it, political i said i said the matter is subject this second i said matter is subject i will not comment either way the, no 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 why why no, is it subject no please uh, you talked subject. about you no no you talked about the itat congress is issue is 6 years old sir yeah are i am i saying who stopped the congress from, who stopped am i no, saying no, no, the legal no, no, notice no, no. is wrong rashi ji rashi ji no, no, did i say that legal how is it wrong? how is that political then a political party says that i have a 14 lakh uh, uh, issue uh, uh, down payment of dues that the interest is now come up I to 200 friend. crore but it's 6 years due I now did they go to the courts no no one minute did they go to the courts it, the political party made it very political saying the current government is coming after us did the courts give them relief or did the courts uphold what the income tax and the tribunal had to say please 
tell me now if a, if a political party refuses to pay its dues who's wrong electoral bonds these are the ones who came out and said that electoral bonds are wrong disclose the names but electoral bonds also was that all transactions were white today you have banned electoral you have fought to ban electoral bonds now when where is how is the money going to come it's going to be black money back into the political system do you want two rounds of elections for the courts to realize that oh so much money is now come back into the black uh, as black you just now said you are you are saying oh 45 lakhs is the thing people are spending four and a half times or or 10 times that amount now where is that 10 times going to come where is the accountability for that 10 times then rashid should the then should the spending limit be increased from 45 lakhs to four and a half crores or should that be there should be no account for how much money is being spent what it's should be the correct the way to go about it. so you know now all of this who no. who did press conference lampooning the enforcement directorate who did multiple press conferences lampooning the uh, uh, enforcement directorate did the bjp sit there and do press conference lauding the ed or did arvind kejriwal sit there and do a janta ko address very lampoon the ed and called it all sorts of names that borders on defamation who sat there who sat there and made a uh, about their income tax and the freezing of their accounts when they lost in court and made it a political issue did the bjp do it or did the congress do it because there's the right a sentiment abhi the ye ed ed november se lekar march tak hua hai ko to no saman kyun diya arvind kejriwal ko no saman kyun diye there are two there are two issues here there are two issues here one is what is the right time to if they done this in 2021 it was going to be uh, you know politics of vendetta because rahul gandhi had raised some uh, issue or the other if they done it in 22 it was again going to be politics of vendetta because rahul gandhi had said something if they had done it in 23 november it was too close to the election it was election interference now they've done it in 24 it is still apparently election interference if they do this after june 15th uh, uh, 2024 after the election is over then it will be uh, vendetta post election election vendetta politics because they are scared of rahul gandhi so you know this timing thing this is never a good idea to go on but see there is the second part to all of this you see the congress also got very cocky they have been prolonging this case for the longest time there is one from sitaram kesari's time as treasurer yeah, yeah. which has been prolonged for so long why because they keep insisting they are so arrogant they keep insisting on just paying the interest on it but not the principal finally all the uh, avenues were exhausted what is the core of the liquor scam here let us first understand this because see it does not require rocket science to figure out what has happened in the liquor scam see a uh, normally a liquor license if you want to privatize privatization is a fantastic thing i have always supported privatization things should be privatized but what happened out here is you can do it like a restaurant liquor license set fees uh, you keep paying that fees every month you get it but no that was not what was done you created an artificial scarcity and artificial zoning in the 30 municipal wards then you create a quota for each ward it was essentially the entire license raj coming back all over again and the most important thing is all the official notings the what the officers the delhi government officers had suggested suddenly got overruled by uh, this thing when south group comes in by the delhi cabinet when south group comes in by the way this is not a mystery all these files are available in public right so this sudden shift of policy uh, uh, then th th there is more aspects to this all this sudden exercise uh, excise uh, exemptions given to people why now accusations are not enough the point is the ed pretty clear right now have what whatsapp chats and phone tracks of who met who at what time etc etc and of course you have kejriwal now this I, now no, but, I but arvin kejriwal the arvin kejriwal the self professed cutter imandar chief minister of delhi told the people of delhi that this is the best exercise excise policy that can come in place that's what he said he stood there addressed a press conference and we all and carried it and they said i think Anand, so you see, any anybody who works in policy, please, Anand, one second. Weaker policy any, has been redefined. Anybody, only one that you got to find, and anybody, Delhi LG also decides only now. I have got to question this. That's so unfair. You are targeting Kejriwal because you couldn't you couldn't beat him in the elections. Yes, uh, quite true. They are targeting him because they couldn't beat him in election, or the it was so childish. When we first saw the document, we couldn't believe what an extraordinary. We thought it had been drafted by by a five year old lawyer. or some uh, legal intern who had been hired for 20 rupees an hour that was how ludicrous that entire excise policy was there was nothing remotely intelligent about it either in terms of government revenue or in terms of anti corruption or in terms of anything so i am uh, you know it, it is so obscene in its very conception 
in its language. I mean, just go look at the language used. It's childish language. It's not even proper legal language used in it. Patani kisne draft kia. This is what happens. You know, when you cut corners, I mean, you want to be corrupt, fine. I mean, you have every right to be corrupt. Uh, at least do it in a sophisticated way. And honestly, Anand, I mean, I'm not taking Kejriwal at his word. He swore on his daughter's life that he's never going to be uh, enter politics. I think there are lots of things that he's sworn on which he's never lived up to. So I'm sorry if I'm not taking see, him at his No, face. that is your perspective. I'm just saying people of Delhi have voted him thrice. He's got the highest historic mandates in the last popularity, 15 years. The kind of political, is not a determinant of corruption, corruption or lack thereof. Anand, you're correct. I, 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 I'm, I'm popularity not saying, no. is one thing, corruption saying, is another. I'm just saying this is the perspective that this is the one bastion where the BJP has not been able to get the better of him. And that's why they're going after him ahead of the Lok Sabha elections because seven out of seven seats are demanded. What is wrong with Hemant Surin? Why did you have to give him nine summons? Uh, ahead of the Telangana elections, you did not arrest Kavita. Now ahead of Lok Sabha elections, you're going to Hyderabad, going to our house, picking her up. And uh, what is the statement you're making, Dr. Ranganathan? Please tell me. If it's not political, then what is? <laughs> no, as far as you saying, Anand, I know you're playing the devil's advocate there, but saying that, look, Kejriwal is being, uh, uh, you know, chased because he's won elections. By that account, Mukhtar Ansari was a five-time MP and MLA, you know, and he had 61 serious criminal cases pending still against him, including his family. Ansari family still has 36 cases pending against him. No, but see, I, I want to make two or three points and it's very important. Because I think both Rashid ji and Sanjeev ji uh, earlier have made points that need to be rebutted. They've made rational, intelligent points that need to be rebutted. Number one, please tell me, Anand, are there two laws in this country? One for the Aam Admi and one for the VVIP politician? Because if there are, then I'll accept it. I, as a common citizen, if I ignore, I've already told you by law, if I ignore three summons from ED, the fourth would be a non-bailable warrant. So is the law different for Kejriwal? Now, as far as Congress is concerned, if I do not file my income tax returns, in the next instance itself, not only my bank account would be frozen, I also would be frozen in Tihar. This case, Congress hasn't filed the returns. Congress has approached not just one, but all four branches of the judiciary, including the ITAT, including the lower court, including the high court, including the Supreme Court. They haven't got relief from either one of those. What will happen to an Aam Admi like me, Sanjeev, Rashid, okay, Sanjeev is not an Aam Admi, Abhijit, all these people, if they do not file income tax returns. So there clearly are two rules and are we advocating two rules? Then let us be upfront and say this. Now, this is very important. I agree with Sanjeev. I agree with Rashid ji when and others when they say democracy is in danger. Yes, absolutely democracy is in danger. But then I ask, what is the role of the opposition? The, op the role of the opposition is to take democracy out of danger. And I put it to you, giving you two brief examples very quickly, that far from pulling democracy out of danger, the opposition has been pushing it in danger. I talk about the anonymity of the electoral bonds. Now, patently it was wrong and I said so, it was wrong. Now, the opposition, when it says it was wrong, that electoral bonds being bought by corporate should not be anonymous. You should disclose because you're going to voters to get elected. Opposition said, then why may I ask, did the Congress get 2000 crores, Trinamool got 1700 crores from the same anonymous electoral bonds? Is that not hypocrisy? Is that not put, pushing democracy in danger? And finally, you know this, everyone else knows this. this is the most blatant example. The BJP was convicted by the High Court, not castigated, convicted by the High Court of violating FCRA laws and taking illegal donations. The punishment was imprisonment of the BJP president. What happened the next day on the floor of the parliament, the BJP amended the FCRA Act going back to the emergency era, rendering the high court decision toothless. Now, in any other civilized democracy, what do you think the opposition would have done, Anand? They would have poured on to the streets. They would have done gherahs. They would have rasta roko, chakka jam, president resigned, prime minister, everything. It would have been mayhem. Did you see any of that happen? No. You know why? Because the High Court had also convicted the Congress of the same offense. And in fact, the BJP could amend the FCRA Act only with the support of the Congress. So on what basis does the Congress say that democracy has been pushed in danger when Congress itself... Arvind Kejriwal, all of them, multiple Arvind, just summons, why? 15 seconds. Just 15 will, seconds. Will, you, will you and me get nine summons? So it's not, it's not happening. I think it's not happening. Right? Yeah. Sir, as an anchor, you so there, there's a two aspects. 
my only limited answer to that is justice should be done it should also be seen as being done so why is only oh. one side corrupt why is everybody who joins bjp the cases suddenly go and vanish in thin air people who have been accused by no less than the senior most top most the most popular leader they suddenly are very comfy and cozy once they join bjp whether it's That's whoever a we have yes, more names and fair cases so, so, nothing, oh, nothing right. happens to them nothing happens to them and then hmm. we are all saying the core voter is happy message is going so all corruption is only in opposition anand raganathan and then rashid tiwari yeah yeah nahi no, I, i think goal post hi shift nahi hua hai pura stadium shift ho gaya hai see what is the case here is the case that bjp is also hypocritical no that's not because i know and i have been saying this from the rooftop yes it is is the case that bjp is also corrupt that's not the case because i have been saying this from the rooftop <clears throat> yes bjp is also corrupt भाई आप जिस आदमी को सेवेंटी थाउजेंड करोर का स्कैम के लिए अक्यूज करते थे वो आज बीजेपी में आपने इंडक्ट कर लिया जिस आदमी को आप कहते थे कि कारगिल मार्टर्स के घर चुराए हैं आदर स्कैम में वो आज बीजेपी में है देर इज ओनली वन मिनिस्टर एवर इम्प्लीकेटेड इन द कोल गेट हु हैज अ डायरेक्ट मनी ट्रेल लिंकिंग टू द मिनिस्टर ऑफ कोल दैट गाय इज हैज नाउ ज्वाइन द बीजेपी सो दैट नॉट द केस ऑफ कोर्स बीजेपी इज करप प्रॉब्लम इज आपने क्या किया था इसीलिए अभिजीत इज करेक्ट यू सी सुप्रीम कोर्ट found the anonymous electoral bonds illegal it cost them did it not now if you tell me all these people who are brow beating and saying hi hi ed corrupt hai cbi corrupt hai see supreme court is there isn't it supreme court why has the supreme court made it independent why has the supreme court taken away the powers of ed in fact supreme court has actually ratified the so called draconian powers of ed तो प्लीज आप ये गलत जगह apne raag alap rahe hain agar aap keh rahe hain ki bjp corrupt aur hypocritical hai hai आप ये कहिए कि जुडिशरी करप्ट और हिपोक्रिटिकल है तब मैं आपका साथ दूंगा बट यू डोंट हैव द करेज टू से दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम रशीद के बाद सो आनंद टुडे इज अपशॉट इज बीन दैट आर नियर कंसेंसस अमंग ऑल पैनलिस्ट दैट वी आर नीड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल रिफॉर्म दैट पॉलिटिकल क्लास पर से इज करप्ट एंड वी नीड टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ दिस थिंग्स नाउ हाउ डू वी डू इट प्रॉब्लम इज बीन एंड एज my friend uh, uh, you know anand sir anand lagnathan was saying the people we looked as change agent they also turn out to be more or less in the in the same mold and that's a thank you very much gentlemen engaging conversation